The Chinese electric vehicle EV industry has witnessed remarkable growth and has emerged as a global leader in recent years. However, this rapid expansion has not been without its fair share of challenges. Majority of EV companies who set out on this mission of electrifying the Chinese automotive landscape and today sunk in bankruptcy. Why is that? Join us in this video to find out. China's ascent to becoming a global leader in the electric vehicle EV market has been nothing short of remarkable. In just a span of two years, the number of EVs sold annually in China skyrocketed from 1.3 million to a staggering 6.8 million, solidifying its position as the world's largest market for EVs. This impressive growth has caught even the most experienced industry observers off guard, constantly underestimating China's potential. The driving force behind this success lies in a combination of strategic government interventions, innovative homegrown brands, technological advancements, and regional collaboration. Back in the early 2000s, China's automobile industry found itself in a challenging situation. While the country excelled in manufacturing traditional internal combustion cars, it lacked domestic brands that could compete with foreign giants dominating the market. Recognizing the limitations of trying to surpass established automakers in internal combustion engine innovation, the Chinese government made a pivotal decision. They chose to break away from convention and invest in an entirely new realm, cars powered solely by batteries. This bold move came with significant risks. At that time, EVs were merely niche experiments, often discontinued after a few years by brands like General Motors and Toyota. Nevertheless, China saw the potential rewards, a chance to secure a significant share of the auto industry. Additionally, embracing EVs offered solutions to pressing national issues such as air pollution, oil dependence, and post-financial crisis economic recovery. While countries excelling in gas or hybrid cars saw little incentive to explore new vehicle types, China had a unique advantage. Its existing auto supply chain, already adept at manufacturing, could be repurposed to support the burgeoning EV industry. Leveraging this structural advantage, China began investing in EV-related technologies as early as 2001, recognizing EV technology as a priority research project in its five-year plan, the country's highest-level economic blueprint. In 2007, the EV industry received a substantial boost when Wan Gang, an auto engineer with a decade of experience at Audi in Germany, assumed the role of China's Minister of Science and Technology. Wan, a passionate advocate for EVs, even test drove Tesla's first EV model, the Roadster, in 2008 shortly after its release. His vision and influence were pivotal in China's decision to wholeheartedly embrace electric vehicles, leading to consistent prioritization of EV development in the nation's economic planning. The government's role in propelling the EV sector extended beyond policy incentives. Generous subsidies, tax breaks, and procurement contracts stimulated both the supply and demand for EVs. These initiatives fostered the growth of domestic EV brands, which continually refined their technologies to meet the real-life needs of Chinese consumers. The result was a thriving market and a growing population of young car buyers eager to embrace sustainable transportation. So what exactly did the government do? It's ingrained in the nature of the country's economic system. The Chinese government is very good at focusing resources on the industries it wants to grow. Recently, this focus has been on the flourishing semiconductor sector. Their journey began in 2009 when the government initiated a series of financial subsidies for electric vehicle EV companies, urging them to produce not just cars for individuals, but also buses and taxis. At that time, the concept of EVs was still in its infancy, with fewer than 500 units sold in China. However, the injection of funds empowered these companies to refine their models and make EVs more affordable for consumers. Over the span of 13 years, from 2009 to 2022, the government poured a staggering 200 billion RMB $29 billion, into subsidies and tax breaks for the EV industry. Although the official subsidy policy concluded at the end of the previous year, a market-oriented system called dual credits took its place. The initial objective had already been accomplished. China saw an astounding 6 million EVs sold in 2022, accounting for more than half of global EV sales. Furthermore, local governments collaborated closely with EV companies, tailoring policies to foster their growth. One notable example is BYD, a Chinese firm challenging Tesla's dominance in the EV market. BYD forged a strategic partnership with the southern city of Shenzhen, which became the first city globally to electrify its entire public bus fleet. This unique collaboration not only propelled BYD's success, but also showcased the city's commitment to sustainability. 
But despite all these efforts invested by the government to ensure that the country's EV industry stands, bankruptcy in a twist of fate became what engulfed the industry. Out of hundreds of companies that were initially in the race to electrify China's automotive industry, only a few are notably functional today and out of the functional few, only BYD can boast of profitability in today's market. It has become a pertinent issue which has led to deeper research on what the challenges plaguing these automakers are and trust me, there is a plethora of them. The inability to raise enough sales profits to tackle these challenges has thrown these companies into the cold hand of bankruptcy. One of the foremost challenges faced by companies in the Chinese EV industry is the constant drive for technological advancement. As technology rapidly evolves, companies must stay ahead of the curve to maintain their competitiveness. Development and implementation of cutting-edge battery technologies, such as solid-state batteries or longer-lasting lithium-ion batteries, present significant challenges. These technologies not only aim to increase driving range but also enhance safety, charging speed, and overall performance. Furthermore, companies need to continually invest in research and development to improve EV efficiency, reduce costs, and optimize manufacturing processes. This requires significant capital investments and collaboration with research institutions and suppliers. By striving to overcome these technological barriers, companies can offer improved products to meet the growing demands of consumers. And then, there is the issue of intense competition. The Chinese EV market is highly competitive, with numerous companies vying for a piece of the pie. This fierce competition poses challenges for both established players and newcomers. Established companies face the pressure of defending their market share against emerging rivals, while newcomers must strive to differentiate themselves and gain recognition in an already crowded marketplace. To stand out, companies need to focus on innovation, branding, and customer-centric strategies. This includes investing in unique designs, intelligent features, and high-quality manufacturing. Differentiation can also be achieved through innovative business models, such as offering battery swapping services, establishing charging networks, or exploring new mobility solutions like ride-sharing or car subscription services. Then there is the problem of supply chain management. Efficient supply chain management is vital for companies in the Chinese EV industry to meet the increasing demand for electric vehicles. A complex global supply chain, including raw materials, components, and battery production, requires careful coordination to ensure timely delivery and maintain product quality. Companies need to address supply chain vulnerabilities, such as potential disruptions due to geopolitical tensions, trade disputes, or natural disasters. Developing local suppliers, establishing strategic partnerships, and exploring alternative supply chain models can mitigate these risks. By enhancing supply chain resilience, companies can maintain a steady production flow and meet customer expectations. The growth of the Chinese EV industry also heavily relies on the development of a robust charging infrastructure. The availability of charging stations across the country is crucial to address range anxiety and encourage consumer adoption. However, building a widespread and efficient charging network poses a significant challenge. Companies must collaborate with infrastructure developers, power utilities, and government agencies to expand the charging infrastructure rapidly. They need to invest in high-speed charging technologies, explore innovative charging solutions, and ensure interoperability between different charging networks. Overcoming this infrastructure challenge will create a positive feedback loop, further encouraging EV adoption. As the Chinese EV industry continues to grow and evolve, companies face various challenges that shape their success. Technological advancement, intense competition, evolving regulations, infrastructure development, and supply chain management are among the key obstacles that companies must overcome. By embracing innovation, investing in research and development, fostering collaboration, and staying agile in the face of changing circumstances, companies can navigate these challenges successfully. Furthermore, by understanding the dynamic landscape and actively participating in shaping policies and regulations, companies can position themselves as leaders in the Chinese EV industry. Overcoming these challenges will not only benefit individual companies, but also contribute to the growth and sustainability of the Chinese EV industry as a whole, ultimately driving the transition to a greener and more sustainable future. What do you have to say about this? Let's hear your thoughts in the comments section below.